SQL injection. It is very dangerous as it sounds. And I'm going to start by explaining what is an injection. You guys already know what is an injection, right? I'm going to try and draw an injection. Maybe I will fail miserably, but I'm still trying to draw an injection. It's a horrible drawing. Okay. This is a new demo, by the way. Anyway, I'm very afraid of injections. Even as a doctor, so injection is very di injections are very dangerous, but they can also be good for humans. For database, injections are very very bad, because when you do injections to database, databases are not suffering from any virus. But when you are injecting, you are trying to inject a virus into the database. So database injections or MySQL injections are usually crafted by malicious users, bad users, evil users who want to find more information from the database than the database can provide you. And to do that they take they make use of bad MySQL client interface or there's just the bad coding practices when interacting with database or when validating user inputs. We are going to take an example of uh, my Node.js and uh, we are going to use input demo and we are going to use the prompt package of from node which is this the npm repository you can find prompt package to get input from the prompt because I'm not going to use HTML but in the future modules you can do the same with it with HTML basically you want to get an input from user to get information about your database it can be employee information departments company information whatever it is I'm just going to copy paste this example to show you what is what are the prompts and then use that here so input demo.js save a indented node input demo.js username mesh email mesh at gmail.com command line input received username and mesh. let's look at the program so basically I have prompt it has two methods prompt.start and then prompt.get prompt.start will start the prompt and prompt.get will get you the values entered by the user what I want to show you it should be the syntax here somewhere yeah and get schema and function this is basically the callback function and this is the schema I'm having variables uh, in the username and email variable so console.log command line input received username and email this will be logged after user enters some input because this is the callback function so callback function will get called after user has entered the input and because this is another asynchronous operation we you we need a callback because user may take long time to type the username and email especially if some people are not typing with two hands they are typing with one hand then they are going to take longer to type the email so it will take a while so we don't know when the input will be there so if I run this again node input demo.js I'm lost I'm looking here and there I type my name then I type with a single hand then my cat comes around then I cannot type anymore 
I throw the cat away then I type again with my single hand it takes forever it takes a while all this time your callback is still waiting to be called after you are done with all this input and when you press enter then the callback gets called and then you see all the output now why do we need this is because I'm trying to emulate the environment of interaction between HTML and JavaScript so usually you read this from your HTML forms with this methods like uh, get element by ID or get text something like that so you get you know how to get the HTML stuff I don't know that but you know how to do that so this is my way of emulating it you get the input from your HTML forms and now you're going to use this input to fetch information from your database let's see SQL injection.js here I have require prompt because I need to get input from the user I require MySQL because I want to interact with MySQL and I require util because I want to promisify the query connection the query function of connection and I want to promisify the input which is prompt.get and this is a connection object I'm going to use not class 22 but the database of company and I will explain what this is multiple statements equal to true I'll explain you in a minute what this is but this is my connection object localhost hyf user and password database is company and I'm allowing multiple statements to be true which means I can send multiple statements at a time now this is my function a sync function query database because I'm going to await on it I have a variable input number which is empty string I'm going to accept this input from prompt so that's why I await on input now input is basically your prompt prom, prom get, but I just promisified it so you get the input in the result variable and the result dot employee number will be the variable that actually contains the value so I'm just extracting it into the input number and then I'm going to pass it to some queries so let's uh, make a query so it is a very naive way of passing the parameter to the query is this one select star from students which is in the back ticks where you can use a dollar and parenthesis so that the variable becomes a value when you send a command so select star from students where student number equal to input number but we don't have students we have employee number so let's change this one so it should be this query so let's start from employees where we don't have EID in our table instead we have employee underscore NO so where employee number should be equal to this one let's try and run this query node SQL injection.js it asked me for, for employee number now looking at our table so let's start from employees I have 101, 102, 104, 105, and 107. If I ask 101, ta-da, I get this data packet containing the information of employee number 101. Let's run it again. 102, I get the data packet of Jalal. And let's run it again. I get 103, I get shit. I get nothing because there is no employee with the employee number 103. Clear so far? Now this is a very usual nice user who is just asking for employee numbers. But there could be a malicious user will do something like this would say 103 or 1 equal to 1 if I do that see I get all the information because now if you see what's happening in the database side the query is sent like this select so star from employees where employee number equal to 103 or 1 equal to 1 now you know the or condition it will match one or the other and if any of the condition matches then it's going to return true now employee number equal to 103 returned false for every row because there is no employee with the number 103 but 1 equal to 1 is always true no matter where you go in the on this earth because everywhere one equal to one in every database every plan every country anywhere so one equal to one is true in every table every row so you just return that row how sad 
So this malicious user just got all the rows. Or this user could be even more malicious and do something like this. Could say one zero, whatever number. Actually, this doesn't matter now. You you can also type five 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 five. Who who cares? Or one equal to one. Same colon show tables. Tada! Now this user is becoming more malicious because you get all the records of employees and you get all the tables in the database. Now let's make this user even more evil. Five 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 or one equal to one. Let me scroll. Let this user scroll. Oh, I have this table. I really don't like the table of uh, account. Let's delete that table. Drop table account. Tada! And I do get OK packet which means it was successful. If I go back to the database, I do show tables, accounts table is actually gone. So some malicious user was able to delete the table because I did not have good input parsing, input validation. So what is my mistake here? That I could let this SQL injection pass through my input validation because I did not do any input validation. When I'm asking user for employee number, I just assume that the user will nicely enter something that is number. But as you saw, this particular malicious user, he did not write a good input number. He just wrote some random number, then R1 equal to one because he knew in the database one equal to one evaluates to true and then he took advantage of multiple statements equal to true which means in one at one go in the one query because the query has semicolon as a separator in mysql if you type a query select star from departments enter it will not complete unless you type semicolon because semicolon is a delimiter you can also type multiple queries in one go. You can type select star from departments, semicolon, select star from projects. There you go. You can do this because semicolon is a delimiter. You can type multiple queries. And if you allow multiple queries from your JavaScript client, then your client object, the connection object, must have multiple statements equal to true which is usually set to false because there are some malicious users that can send the second query which can be dropping your table or deleting rows from the table it can be very nasty so usually this multiple statements is set to false now how can we avoid this it's by doing es escaping of parameters it will remove the unwanted characters now let's do this The query looks like this and select star from employees where employee underscore no equal to now we are not passing it as it is we are saying something like connection dot escape input number the connection dot escape this method will do some sanitization on the input i know these words are very similar today this lesson the last uh, time we talked about isolation in the database queries now we are talking about sanitizing interesting times connection dot escape we are going to sanitize the input let's see what happens now so node sql injection dot js let's try the same trick r1 equal to one why get one oh this is not a malicious user but still you see 101 equal or one equal to one it is interpreted only as 101 not anything else 5555 five, 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 r1 equal to one I get nothing because see how it is interpreted 5000 or 1 equal to 1 this entire thing is matched with employee number and none of it actually makes sense I get no results now let's try this 5555 five, 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 or 1 equal to 1 semicolon show tables 
still didn't work because now this entire thing is matched with employee number. The semicolon is not treated as the delimiter because the connection dot escape will treat everything that is passed as the input as the in employee number and it will MySQL will try to match the entire thing with the employee number and it will not work. Another way of avoiding this is using a question mark syntax to do the escaping. It does the same thing. So now we are doing uh -oh. so let's start from employees where employee no equal to question mark. 5555 five, 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 or 1 equal to 1 show tables Tada, didn't work so always remember when you are writing JavaScript application to talk to database and accepting input from HTML always sanitize your input either with connection.escape or passing them with a question mark syntax never make query like this always make query like this or like this the ways to avoid SQL injection now we are going to make a small demonstration of SQL injection online it's suggested by Andre this is a website hacksplaining.com you can still you can play with this later I'm just trying to show you if I can do this hack somebody actually made this so that people like us can use SQL injection to hack it so some email doesn't matter I hope this is big enough so I'm going to try and uh, zoom this a bit so I can also see the logs now here I'll just say let's say hello or one equal to one and see what happens okay now here I'm going to see the logs and inside logs Okay, it didn't really work, so it must be something else. Let's try. Hello, or or one equal to one semicolon show tables. See what happens here. There's no such user. Didn't really work. Let's see. User at email.com pass r one No, I want to complete this one or one equal to one because sometimes applications can have single quotes so this single quote should complete what the application is checking the password with and then another single quote will complete this one there we go so this is kind of I hacked into whatever is supposed to be hackable already and do transfer funds it's, it's just fake basically but the point is to show that a real website can also be vulnerable this is just an example but you can definitely find websites that are vulnerable and you can try to hack them so yeah happy hacking and happy sql injection